Hello adventurers, welcome to the video where we reveal the top 10 things to do in the vast and diverse land of Russia. The largest country in the world, Russia stretches from Eastern Europe all the way to the Arctic Ocean, boasting a rich tapestry of cultures, landscapes, and experiences. From the grandeur of its imperial cities to the quiet charm of its countryside, Russia is a treasure trove waiting to be explored. And that's exactly what we're going to do today. Uncover the top 10 must-visit spots in this intriguing country. You know, they say Russia is so big, you can start reading War and Peace at one end and by the time you reach the other, you'll have just finished it. Before we dive in, remember to like, share, and subscribe for more travel content. Now buckle up and get ready for an exhilarating journey. First stop, St. Petersburg, Russia's cultural heart. Often referred to as the Venice of the North, this city is steeped in history and brimming with architectural marvels and artistic treasures. St. Petersburg was the imperial capital for two centuries, and it still retains its irresistible allure. The best time to visit? Definitely. Summer. Not just for the pleasant weather but also for the mesmerizing White Nights Festival. A time when the city hardly sees darkness and cultural events light up the cityscape. While here, make sure to explore the Hermitage Museum. Housing over three million works of art, it is one of the largest and oldest museums in the world. And of course, don't miss out on a river cruise. Gliding along the city's canals and rivers offers a unique perspective of St. Petersburg's grandeur. Experience the city's vibrant culture and history, and you'll understand why St. Petersburg is a must-visit. Next, we head to the bustling city of Moscow, Russia's capital. This vibrant city is a treasure trove of history and culture. The Kremlin, a symbol of the nation's political power, stands tall and proud, its golden domes glittering in the sunlight. And just a stone's throw away, Red Square beckons with its iconic St. Basil's Cathedral, a perfect photo opportunity. When should you visit? Moscow shines in spring and autumn. The city blooms with flowers in spring, while autumn paints the city in warm hues. But any season in Moscow has its charm. Now let's talk activities. Fancy some shopping? The gum department store with its stunning architecture and high-end brands is a must-visit. And for the culture enthusiasts, watching a ballet performance at the Bolshoi Theater is an experience like no other. From history to high culture, Moscow offers something for every traveler. Moving on from the city's hustle, let's explore some of Russia's other gems. First up, we have Kazan. As one of the oldest cities in Russia, Kazan is a fascinating fusion of Eastern and Western cultures. Its iconic landmark, the Kazan Kremlin, is a UNESCO World Heritage Site that's simply not to be missed. The city is also home to the stunning Kul Sharif Mosque, one of the largest in Europe. If you're a fan of opera or ballet, the grandeur of the Kazan Opera and Ballet Theater will not disappoint. The best time to visit is during the summer months when the weather is warm and the city is vibrant with cultural festivals. Next we journey to Sochi, a city that gained international fame after hosting the 2014 Winter Olympics. But Sochi isn't just a winter destination. With its subtropical climate, it's known as the summer capital of Russia. It offers beautiful beaches, warm sea waters, and a vibrant nightlife. For adventure seekers, the nearby Caucasus Mountains provide ample opportunities for hiking and skiing. Sochi is a year-round destination, but the peak seasons are summer for beachgoers and winter for snow sports enthusiasts. Now let's venture into the heart of Siberia, to Lake Baikal. This ancient massive lake is the deepest and oldest in the world. Its crystal clear waters are home to many unique species of flora and fauna. It's a haven for nature lovers and outdoor enthusiasts, offering activities like fishing, hiking, and ice skating in winter. The best time to visit is either in the summer when the weather is mild, or in the winter when the lake turns into a stunning icy wonderland. Our next stop is Kamchatka, one of Russia's most remote and untamed regions. It's a land of rugged beauty, boasting over 200 volcanoes, hot springs, and a diverse range of wildlife. If you're lucky, you might even spot a brown bear or two. For the adventurous souls, Kamchatka is a paradise for trekking, fishing, and wildlife viewing. The best time to visit is from July to September when the weather is relatively warm and the days are long. No trip to Russia is complete without a journey on the Trans-Siberian Railway. Spanning over 9,000 kilometers and 8 time zones, it's the longest railway line in the world. As it winds its way from Moscow to Vladivostok, it offers passengers a unique glimpse into the vast and varied landscapes of Russia. From the dense forests of Siberia to the open steppes of Mongolia, every turn is a new wonder. The journey can be taken at any time of the year, 
but spring and fall offer the most comfortable temperatures and beautiful scenery. Finally, we arrive at Vladivostok, Russia's gateway to the east, with its scenic bays, historic architecture and vibrant seafood scene, Vladivostok is a city that's full of surprises. The iconic Ruski Bridge, one of the longest cable-stayed bridges in the world, is a sight to behold. For history buffs, the city's numerous museums and monuments offer a glimpse into Russia's past. Vladivostok is best visited in the summer when the weather is warm and the city's waterfront comes alive. Each of these locations offers its unique charm, making Russia a traveler's paradise. Well that was quite a journey, wasn't it? We've taken a whirlwind tour through Russia's top 10 destinations, each with its unique charm and appeal. We began in the Venice of the North, St. Petersburg, with its intricate network of canals and grand historical structures. Then, we ventured into the heart of Russia Moscow, a city that pulses with energy and history at every turn. We also uncovered the hidden gems of Kazan and Sochi, cities teeming with culture and natural beauty. At Lake Baikal, the world's deepest and oldest lake, we experienced nature at its most sublime. Kamchatka offered us a taste of the wild with its stunning volcanic landscapes. Lastly, we journeyed along the Trans-Siberian Railway, the world's longest railway line, before ending in Vladivostok, a city that perfectly blends Russian and Asian cultures. So there you have it, our top 10 things to do in Russia. Remember, every journey begins with a single step, so why not let that step lead you to Russia? Until next time, stay adventurous.